Well, this weather is bringing back memories. Chances are you remember the 2009 tri-state ice storm. It left many in western Kentucky without power or water for weeks. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett is in Muhlenberg County with how the storm is changing, how people are preparing now. The salt and ice melt is already on the ground outside the Muhlenberg County Courthouse here in Greenville. And while people are doing what they can to prepare for the upcoming winter weather, county officials say they have also made changes in how they respond since the ice storm in 2009. You hope for the best, but you prepare for the worst. Customers were at hardware stores like Ballone's Home Center in Greenville, buying propane, salt, and other things in advance of the forecasted weather. We want to keep our pipes from freezing. We want to stay warm. In we want an alternative in case if the power does go off. Some residents say the 2009 ice storm made them change how they prepared, even if the expected amount for this week doesn't reach those levels. And everybody I know has got generators and stuff now. Uh, it kind of caught us off guard that last time. In 09, we were out of power for like two weeks. And uh, I'm just getting gas for my generator, going to get it going and getting things ready. Obviously, you want to make sure that your community is as well prepared as possible. Muhlenberg County Judge Executive Curtis McGee says that ice storm, along with other past natural disasters, led to changes in the county's response. Some county departments added more equipment to respond to winter weather emergencies and connected the county water system to other systems to keep water flowing. Our water department is also tied into some other counties. We didn't have that in the past. And so now if Muhlenberg County's water service was interrupted, uh, there are other counties that we could actually get a water supply from. Judge McGee, as the road department and other county departments will be keeping an eye and doing their best to be sure the roads are cleared if any tree limbs fall down. In Muhlenberg County, my pick at Eyewitness News.